Hey y'all, it's Caitlin. So, uh, hopefully you guys have already seen the one where I explain kind of the background and why I'm a little slow in getting the display up, but I am at the new place, uh, in case I got my videos out of order, which happens a lot. But, <laughs> I did go by, uh, Barnes & Noble recently and I found Timon. Still haven't gotten Rafiki. Uh, I'm going to email them probably as soon as I get done filming, uh, asking where the heck it is, because now... I'm at a new address, so, I mean, we had the forwarding address, you know, in place for them to stop the mail there and forward it here, but at this rate, I just kind of want my money back and want to buy a Rafiki second hand, because I think that'll be a lot simpler. But anyway, let's go ahead and get Timon out. Uh, so, if you don't count the Rafiki, technically, I still like Rafiki and Scar, because... Brian has sent before me. He just hasn't had time to ship it yet, which I totally understand, by the way. But I do have... So I have two out of the four. So. Right away, I can tell you this is not the best flocking job I've ever felt or seen. And I expected that because of all the texture that is on this pot. But it is really cute. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I believe Tylock over at Homespun Geek uh, unboxed the... <laughs> um common one out of mystery box or something i think and he was like this thing is so ugly i actually think it's kind of cute i mean it's 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 live it's cgi but live action um i don't know why there's a red spot on my head but i mean you know a cartoon you can draw it to be as cute as you want when you're trying to base something off real life it's just as cute as it gets in real life I mean, so from what it is, for what it's based on, I think it's really, really cute. Um, but also, again, because it's based off something very real, they were trying to make it look very realistic. Uh, you know, not make it look cartoony as much as you can with a Funko Pop. There's a lot of texture in this, which I appreciate. That's a lot of sculpting. But at the same time, with so much texture, it's hard to get, like, a really soft flocking job done um and yeah and with all the blending and the shading it's just really hard to do so you know it's kind of like their glitter jobs on the, the glitter jobs are still worse but <laughs> flock on a texture pop is still kind of iffy so the only thing not flocked is the nose and the eyes the claws are painted this side of him, the claws on both his hands and feet are painted way better than the ones on this side. Uh, it feels like the very tips of his ears are painted over, as well as this little stripe in the middle of his head. So I don't like that when they do that. And oh, also his muzzle. It feels like his muzzle is uh, painted over as well. And the stripes on his back. So I just keep finding more paint stuff, which I don't really like. Uh, I just don't like the feel of it. So, as much as I love Flock Pops, and I still want to get the rest, <laughs> because I love Flock Pops, but it's just definitely not my favorite flocking job I've ever seen on Pop, but it's still really cool. Still really glad I have it. Still really glad I have something now where I can show you guys that it stands. <laughs> and again, if you saw the other one, I should have something going across me, although right now this is actually kind of working. I might actually keep this kind of set up, not this thing, because this is a bookshelf. But with the table, I might just set it beside me. But anyway, so the other, this is a random haul. Totally lost track of how many numbers we've done. But, but there's two other things here that are not Funko related. So for anyone who comes here just for the Funko stuff, y'all can click out now. But, but I wanted to show you guys the new Power Ranger action figure. So everyone knows that... Power Rangers was bought out by Hasbro. And Hasbro has the, what are they calling, Lightning Collection. As of right now, the only ones they made is Lord Zed, Tommy is the White Ranger, Shadow Ranger, <coughs> and uh, I believe the wh white, the red uh, Dino Charge Ranger. Um, so I didn't know Goldar. They had the Goldar exclusive to GameStop, I believe. I, I haven't seen that one yet. But I have seen all the four of the rest of them in stores. This is the only one I really wanted. Um, I really love SPD. It's one of my favorite uh, seasons of Power Rangers. And 
Shadow Ranger, you know, Doggy Kruger was one of my favorite characters uh, in SPD, so I was down to get him. Uh, I kind of want to take it out just to see what it looks like out of box. So I may not take it completely out of box, but yeah. So how do you guys feel of Hasbro? Now, to be honest, I haven't checked out the new series yet. I've been meaning to, uh, but with everything going on, I just haven't. So if you guys are watching Beast Morphers, tell me what you think about it. Um, I still don't know if I'll be able to open this. But, but yeah, just let me know what you think of it. I've heard mixed reviews on it. Um, but you know, Power Ranger shows in general have becoming more dumbed down, I want to say, uh, like most of the other cartoons or, or, you know, shows depicted for children these days have. Am I the only one that thinks that? I don't know, but I probably won't take it further out than this because I still want to keep it in the packaging, but what is this? Is that just something for him to clip the morpher onto? I mean, it looks like it looks like one of those silicone bracelets that I always wear all the time, but I don't know. That's weird. And he has some kind of blast coming out. Here's his weapon. His weapon looks awesome with that wolf head. That looks cool. And of course, they have the interchangeable heads. They have his actual head and then his uh, Power Ranger head. So that's cool. He comes with two uh different hands so you can switch out the hands that's cool and of course is morpher so this is really really cool i kind of want to go ahead and take it out but i know if i do i'll bend the plastic so i'm not but but yeah let me know what you guys think of hasbro taking over on one hand it kind of opens the floodgate floodgates for what could happen with power rangers in the future because hasbro's got money <laughs> Hasbro has got money, so there's definitely some room for like them doing their own thing when it comes to Power Rangers, but then again, I don't know how much say they have when it comes to Power Rangers. I don't know. I mean, I imagine they have quite a bit of say in it. I don't know if they're the full-out owners of Power Rangers yet. To be honest, I haven't looked that too far into it, but again, busy, but, but I remember seeing so much stuff at... Uh, Toy Fair, including these things, and I got really excited about them. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what comes in the future. I hope they go ahead and continue this line, because it's kind of like the continuance of the Legacy line that they had for a while, uh, that uh, Saban had, or Bandai had, and I just want to keep seeing it going. I want to see Wild Force is what I want to see. I want to see Wild Force, because Wild Force is my favorite. Okay. So one more little teeny tiny thing. So y'all know how obsessed I am with Pokemon. And a while back they started making Mega Constructs Pokemon in these little bitty Pokeballs. Uh, they have sets and stuff too, which I have a couple of them, but not a lot. But I told myself that this is something I can very quickly get addicted to, these little bitty Lego-like figures. So I told myself I'm only going to get the ones, if they make if they make my favorite character of every type, I'll do it. So they made Cubone. Cubone is my favorite ground type. They made Spinarak. Spinarak is my favorite bug type. And now they've made Sableye, who is my favorite ghost type. So let's go ahead and crack him open. Usually these things don't take too long to put together. So... And I'm going to be doing it on this packing box that I have the tripod <laughs> sitting on right now. That's why y'all are a little bit higher than you usually are. But uh, that's probably why the quality is a lot better. Anyway, but it can't. This one come in a quick ball, which I like because quick ball is my favorite. So this is series eight. They're already on, so they've gone through quite a few of these things. So. You get a little uh, checklist and also instructions on how to put the thing together. I'm sorry if it's wobbling. Get used to that for the next few minutes while I put this thing together. But also in this line is Munchlax and Aeron, both coming in quick balls. 
Uh, and then Eevee, Plusel, and Sandshrew, can't regular Sandshrew, that come in luxury balls. So, who all has seen the trailer, the new trailer for Sun and Moon? Or not Sun and Moon, but Sword and Shield. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it. I'm so excited for it, I'm looking forward to it. But when I see something for powering or for uh, Pokemon, I don't think I should be reminded about the villains from the Power Rangers. Because if you guys haven't seen it, now they have something. They, they do a new gimmick every generation now. They have for the last few generations. And this one, the Pokemon is able to grow ginormous size for like three moves, I think it is, in battle. I, I just... When I watched that, I just pictured Rita Repulsa in my head, like, make my monster grow. <laughs> when that when that girl's throwing that huge Pokeball behind her where big Raichu comes out of it. That's what I thought of. I thought, that's Rita Repulsa. <laughs> that's what I thought about. I was like, holy crap. But what can you do about it? Have I already lost a piece? I think I've already lost a piece. I don't think they put a piece in here. It's like the very first thing you had to have. But the free. <laughs> okay, hang on. Maybe, maybe it doesn't, okay, wait, no, 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 no. I think I'm good, I think I'm good. Okay, Never mind. I was being stupid. <laughs> uh, they have three of these little ones together. And I thought it was like one solid piece, but no, it's three different pieces that you put side by side together. Okay, uh, I got it now. <laughs> uh, Y'all should see me trying to make a real, like put together an actual Lego set. That's a trip. That is a trip. And it's not a fun one either. <laughs> Okay, so the ears of Sableye is made out of like the silicon. So one of the ears is kind of bent, so I don't like that. And it's something they totally could have prevented by putting it in some little like thing or whatever. Or at least try to prevent it more, let me put it that way. Okay. Got the face. Now let's put the crystal eyes on. I don't know why this little guy I I don't know why this little guy speaks to me the way he does Sableye, but he just does. Usually I don't like when I'm playing Pokemon, I won't train any Pokemon that doesn't evolve like a Sableye does. But hey. <laughs> you like what you like, I guess. And there's the phone. Unfortunately, we still have a home phone. So, you guys still have to deal with that nonsense. But uh, hopefully it's not too bad of a thing. Uh, okay, so now we're putting the body together. I'll show you guys this thing up close when or if I ever put it together. The one thing, though, I'll say about Mega Constructs, they are not as easy to put together at all. I don't care who says what, they are not as easy to put together at all. I mean, they're not, they're not undoable or anything like that. It's just harder when you put a full or even take them apart. When I was taking some apart to put back in the box to pack, holy crap. Uh, I was like, why? <laughs> why did I decide to get these things in the first place? Why? Why, 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 why did I decide to do that and I got the wrong thing. Is that right? <laughs> I think I did the wrong thing on both of them. Yep, I did. <laughs> Making the arms and I did the wrong thing on both of them. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Lord. That's why I meant, when, if it was a Lego, that wouldn't be so hard 
to take apart. It wouldn't have. Okay. Let's put one arm on. Now let's get the other one. Can y'all imagine if I tried to sit here and put a whole set together? I thought about doing that. I'm changing my mind right at this moment. Because we're at 15 minutes already for this video. Uh, which I like longer videos, but I know most people don't. Okay, where's the feet? Okay. Feet like that. For all you Lego people, like Brooks Bear, if you're watching, what do you think of Lego compared to like Mega Constructs? Because I love Lego a lot more. It just made way better to me. Which, you know, Lego was the original. They had the original patent for these things. So it doesn't surprise me that they're so much better, but wow. <laughs> it's amazing just how much better they are. <laughs> when you start to play, like the first, they made uh, Monster High Mega Constructs and I have like all of them. And when I was first putting them together, I'm like, how is a little kid supposed to do do this and then it came to me they go mom dad i need help that's what they do <laughs> that's how a little kid puts these things together because just by putting this little thing together it's already kind of bitten into my hands a little bit which you know not bad but still i don't see kids having that much patience when it comes to this stuff but whatever so i think i'm done that's all the pieces yeah so, when the little dude is completely done, which you can see here, so he has his gem eyes again, his ears are silicon, he's got the gems on the back, big gem on the front, and when you put it all together, hang on, let me put the instructions back in here so I don't lose them. I'll have to put Cubone and Spinner Rack back together too, because I took them all apart, uh, all the Legos apart to move them except for the megazord i think i kept the mega constructs megazord together okay but after you do that the top of the pokeball is made to hold on so it has that like lego brick pattern so yay so this was a very long <laughs> random haul and i'm sorry for making y'all sit through the <laughs> sit through this but yeah I didn't mean for it to take that long I'm sorry <laughs> I'm slow <laughs> but anyway I hope you all enjoyed this again it won't be too much longer uh, until I get some setup going um hopefully by next week I can start I was hoping to do it today um but the shelves they put in my bedroom have oil and stuff on them from the staining so that's a no. <laughs> and again, I don't want to put anything up in here because I'm afraid they'll come in and start, you know, I, I don't want, want to see one of my statues on the ground. That's all I, that's all I want. I don't want to see any of my statues on the ground. And the ones I've unpacked are upstairs. So, uh, but anyway, hope you all enjoy this video. Remember, like always, it's a community and not a competition. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.